Um, but just to kind of recap, this uh, tutorial is designed, or this piece is designed to be made with shawl on the ball. And shawl on the ball is supposed to be a size of four weight yarn, but I believe it's actually quite a bit thinner than that in my opinion. So if you do not have shawl on the ball and you're going to be substituting, you need to go with a DK size three lightweight yarn um, as a good substitution. You're going to be using a 6.5 millimeter hook. And we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you in this uh, part of the video, you're going to learn how to do the back panel of the cardigan. And then in a separate tutorial, I will show you how we work the two front panels to form the cardigan, sew it up, and hopefully also be able to put in, in that same um, video, all the edging and how to do that. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. Let me move this out of our way. All right, to get started, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to actually use regular worsted weight size 4 yarn um, for this tutorial um, just so that you can see it better on camera. This uh, tutorial is designed to be beginner friendly so I will explain each stitch but then we'll move along immediately after that to try to keep this as short as possible. It is going to be a long tutorial because this is an involved stitch and I want to fully explain it to you guys. So we're going to start by doing a slip knot and I do my slip knots by wrapping the yarn around my hand like this. I pull over this piece that I've got here in between my thumbs so that it's positioned between my two fingers and then I keep it held between the two fingers and pull it up and through and pull down on this tail and that creates my slip knot. I'm also using a little bit larger hook since I am using a larger size yarn than what's recommended for this piece. Um, if you are going to use size 4 worsted weight yarn, your kind of typical yarn, you're definitely going to want to go up to a size um, seven millimeter or eight millimeter crochet hook if you do not have the seven, seven millimeter. That way you will get a similar drape to your piece even though you're using larger yarn. You will probably also have to go down a size in the um, below in the description if you look at the number of foundation ovals that you need to start this piece. You may have to go down a size if you do choose to go up in size on your yarn. So we're going to start by wrapping our yarn and pulling through a loop to make our first chain. We're going to go ahead and chain a total of five. So that's our number one. Here's number two, three, four, and five. And now what we're going to do is called a double treble and we're going to wrap our yarn around our hook a total of three times like so. And we're going to use our finger to hold that in place just so it doesn't slip off. And we're going to go down here into this first chain that we made and we're going to insert our hook and we're going to pull up a loop. Now we're going to wrap our yarn again and pull through two loops that are on our hook. You're going to wrap your yarn again and pull through two loops. Wrap again and pull through two loops. Wrap one more time pulling through the last two loops and you have your first foundation oval. Now definitely go down into the description and see which side you're going to make and you're going to make the uh, number of foundation ovals listed there. For this tutorial I'm just going to make seven for like a mini size so you can see the complete stitch pattern repeat and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and chain up five again. So I've got three already. And if you're new, you're going to go ahead and pinch, new to crochet I mean, um, you're going to go ahead and pinch that first chain that you made so you know exactly where to insert your hook again. So I've got three, four, and five. And now we're going to wrap our yarn again three times to do our double treble. We're going to go down here into this first chain that we just made. We're going to pull up a loop. We're going to pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. You do want to keep your tension pretty loose on this. That's part of the reason why for the shawl and the ball we're using the 6.5 millimeter. Now you're going to pause the video here and continue to make your foundation ovals until you've reached the desired number for the size you're making and then you'll meet right back up with me here and we'll do row two. So here we are at the end. You've got all your foundation ovals made. You want to make sure that you keep this nice and flat. You do not want to twist this as you're working. So they do lay pretty flat themselves if you just lay them out. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to move into this first foundation over oval because that's where we're going to be working. So we're going to do that by doing a um, slip stitch. To slip stitch you have your um, loop that's on your hook and you're just going to insert your hook into the space, grabbing yarn and pulling it through and you're going to go ahead and pull it all the way through that loop on your hook. So now you've slip stitched and you're in the right working position. 
we're going to chain up three, two, three. And now we're going to do two double crochets right here into the same foundation oval. To do a double crochet, you just simply wrap your yarn around your hook, insert it into this loop, and pull up a loop. Now you've got three on your hook. You're going to grab your yarn, pull through two, grab your yarn, pull through two. So that's how you do a, a uh, double crochet. We're going to do one more. Let's do that. And now we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to move here into this next foundation oval right here, and we're going to do three single crochets. To do the single crochet, you're going to insert your hook into this loop, just like so. Grab your yarn, pull up a loop. You're going to grab more yarn and pull through the two loops. So we need a total of three in this foundation oval. So that's my second one, and here is my third. And we're going to go ahead and chain five again, two, three, four and five and we're going to move into the next foundation oval and this time we're going to do five double crochets into this so you're going to go ahead and do five double crochets one two three four and five and now we're going to chain five, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to do three single crochets into this next foundation oval. And you are going to continue on down just like that until you are at reach your last foundation oval. And that's where you're going to uh, meet up back up with me so that we can do that last one together. Chain five again. And then we're going to do our five double crochets, chain five, do our three single crochets, chain five, and meet up at the end of your row. So you can go ahead and pause the video here, finish working in the same manner, just as I've explained. Five, chain five, three um, single crochets, chain five, five double crochets, chain five, three single crochets, chain five, and so on until you reach the end of your row and you have one foundation oval left. All right, so at this point, you've got done uh, three single crochets, and we're right here at the end of our um, foundation ovals that we started with. So you're going to make sure that you chain five, three, four, and five. And now we're going to do three double crochets in this last foundation oval to end this row. We started with three double crochets. We're going to end with three double crochets. So we're going to go ahead and do the three double crochets directly into the foundation oval. Two, and three. And now to move up to the next row, we're going to go ahead and chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Now, the first three of this is going to count for a double crochet, and you'll understand that in the following row, and then a chain two. So we're doing a chain five, and we're going to turn our work. And we are going to do a double crochet immediately into the same stitch right here. We're going right here into the same stitch, very first one on the row, and we're going to do a double crochet. Now we're going to go ahead and do a double crochet in the next two double crochets from the previous row. And there's my third one. Now I'm going to chain four. And I'm going to move over here into this next foundation oval that we put the three single crochets in. And I'm going to skip the first single crochet and move immediately into the second one, which is the one in the middle. I'm going to do a single crochet. Now I'm going to chain four again. And I'm going to come over here, skipping over this chain five, and I'm going to go to this very first double crochet, and I'm going to put a double crochet in it, as well as the next two double crochets from the previous row. So there's my first one. Here's my second one, and last but not least, my third one. Now I'm going to chain five, one, two, three, 
four and five. And we're gonna do a double crochet right back into that same space that we were working in. So we're gonna put a second double crochet right here into that same space, same stitch. And now we're gonna put a double crochet in the next two double crochets from the previous row. Two and three. So now if you look at what you've done, you, have, you had five double crochets on the previous row and you've put three, a chain five, and three more. So now we have six in that section now. So we're gonna go ahead and chain four. One, two, three, four. And just like before and on through the rest of this row, we're going to skip over this chain five. We're gonna skip this first single crochet and move immediately into the second one in the center and do a single crochet, just like that. Now we're gonna chain four again. Two, three, and four and we're going to move over here. And we've got our five double crochets again, so we're gonna put a double crochet in the first three double crochets for the previous row, one in each. There's one. Now we have two. And we have three. And just like before, we're gonna chain five, two, three, four, and five and we're going to put another double crochet into that same same stitch right there. And so we're gonna do a double crochet, and now we're gonna put a double crochet in the next two stitches from the previous row. They're both double crochets. Go right into the top of those. And now we're gonna chain four and put a single crochet in the center of the three single crochets from the previous row. So we're gonna skip the first one, go into the second one, then we're gonna chain four and continue on just like we've been doing. And you want to do that, and then you want to go ahead and pause the video right here actually so that you can meet back up with me after you've done the, the um, last set of single crochets. You've worked in that, you have your chain four, and then you have these three double crochets left, that's where we want to meet up. So go ahead and pause the video here and work your way on down. All right, so you should be coming back with me with only having these three stitches left to work in. We have chained four coming off of the single crochet that we placed in the center. And we're gonna go ahead and do a double crochet into each of these stitches. This one right here on the end is actually the chain three from the previous row and that's how we started it. So you're gonna work into the top of that chain three. So we're gonna go ahead and do our three double crochets. One. Two. And three. Now we're gonna chain two and we're gonna do a double crochet back into that same chain that we just worked that double crochet in here, right here. The very end, we're gonna do a double crochet into that space. And that is how you end the row three. So to begin row four, we're gonna chain up three. One, two, three. This is counting as our first double crochet. We're gonna go ahead and turn our work. And we're gonna put three more double crochets right here into this chain two space that we made on the previous row. So go ahead and do three double crochets, two and three. And now we're gonna chain three, one, two, and three. And we're gonna move into this next set of three double crochets and do a double crochet in the top of each one. So we're gonna place a double crochet in each one. One, two, and three. And then we're gonna chain three. One, two, three. And we're gonna go ahead and put a single crochet in the single crochet from the previous row. Chain three again, two, three. And we're gonna move over here to these three double crochets and we're gonna put a double crochet in each. One, two, and three. 
and now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And we've made it to that chain five space. And in this chain five space, we're going to put uh, seven double crochets right directly into this space. So here's our first one. Two. Three. Four. five, six, and seven. And we definitely want to check our count on this because we're going to need all these stitches in the following row. So let's check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're going to chain three and we are going to do three double crochets into these three double crochets from the previous row. and three and we're going to chain three and do a single crochet in the single crochet from the previous row so here we are again we're going to go and do our single crochet right here chain three we're going to do our three double crochets chain three and then the seven double crochets in this chain five space and you're going to continue to work in the same manner all the way down the rest of your row and then we'll be meeting back up at the end so that you can um, do the very end with me so I can show you how that's done. And I'm going to go ahead and have you pause the video and finish out. If you need help, you can go ahead and continue to watch. Chain three. Now I'm going to do my seven double crochets. There's one, two, three. Four, five, six, and seven. Chain three. Doing three double crochets in the top of these three double crochets from the previous row. Chain three single crochet in the single crochet from the previous row chain three and you should be meeting back up with me here so that we can do the three double crochets into these three double crochets go ahead and do that one two and three now we're going to chain three and now we're going to do a total of four double crochets into this loop that we created with that chain five at the beginning so we're going to do three double crochets right into this loop like so and then for our fourth double crochet we're going to count up on that chain and find the third and we're going to insert our hook into that third chain and we're going to do our last double crochet right there. Now what we're going to do to start the next row, this is row five, just so we're all keeping up with that, is we're going to chain four, two, three, four, and you're going to turn your work. Now what we're going to do is we're going to skip this very first stitch that we're in right here that we did this chain out of and we're going to go immediately into that second one on the row. We're going to do a uh, double crochet cluster into this stitch. So in order to do a double crochet cluster, you're going to start just like a double crochet and wrap your yarn around your hook once. We're going to insert into the top of that stitch and pull up a loop. We're going to have three loops on our hook, but we're just going to pull through two, leaving us with two loops on our hook. Now we're going to wrap again, and you're going to insert your hook back into the same exact space and pull up a loop. Now we're going to pull through two, and now we have three loops on our hook. We're going to wrap our yarn one more time, insert into the same exact space, pulling up a loop. We're going to pull through two, and now we have four loops on our hook. Now we're going to grab our yarn and turn our hook so that it is lining up with our stitches going passing right underneath and pull through all four. And that is a cluster.
right there. Now we're going to chain three and we are going to skip the very next stitch, the very next double crochet moving into the last one on this section and we're going to do another double crochet cluster. Wrap your yarn, insert your hook, pull up a loop, pull through two, wrap your yarn, insert your hook back into the same exact space, pull up a loop, pull through two, you're going to be holding it, you've got three loops on your hook, wrap your yarn, insert into the exact same space, pull up a loop, pull through two, and you're going to hold it, you have four loops on your hook, so you're going to grab your yarn and pull through all four loops on your hook. And that is what you have right now. So we're going to go ahead and chain five now, two, three, four, five, and this to me is the trickiest part of this. What we're going to do is we are going to cluster together, we're going to be skipping this chain three, and we're going to cluster together these stitches right here and these stitches over here on this side. So we're going to bring these together to a point. So we're going to do that by wrapping our yarn around our hook. We're going to skip these chains and move immediately into this first double crochet. Insert our hook and pull up a loop. Pull through two loops. We're not going to complete it. We're going to go ahead and wrap our yarn again. We're going to move into this very next stitch. And we're going to insert our hook, pull up a loop, and pull through two, and leave it. Now we have three loops on our hook. We're going to wrap our yarn again. Insert your hook into this third stitch, just like so. Pull up a loop, pull through two, and we have four loops on our hook. Now we're going to wrap our yarn, and we're going to skip over all of this chain work here. And that single crochet and we're going to come over here to this side to the first double crochet trying to pull this as tight as we can this is the only time I suggest you doing anything tight on this project and we're going to insert our hook into the first one pull up a loop we're going to pull through two and we're going to leave it now we have five loops on our hook we're going to do that two more times wrap your yarn insert your hook into the next stitch pull up a loop pull through two and we have six loops on our hook. And one more time, we're gonna move here into this last double crochet in this section. We're gonna pull up a loop. We're gonna pull through two. And now we have a total of seven loops on our hook. We're gonna pull through all seven loops. Kinda pull that down tight. And you want to go ahead and, and single, or I'm sorry, chain five here. Three, four, and five. And now we're over here to this chain. Um, we've passed over this chain right here and we're in this section where there's seven double crochets. We're gonna be working a cluster stitch, the double crochet cluster, skipping a stitch, working a double crochet cluster, skipping a stitch, working a double crochet cluster, skipping a stitch, and working a double crochet cluster. So you're gonna end up with four clusters in this section. And in between them, we're going to have a chain three. So we're going to do that together. Go ahead and wrap your yarn, insert your hook, pull up your loop, pull through two and hold it. Wrap your yarn, insert your hook, pull up a loop, pull through two and hold it. Wrap your yarn, insert into the same exact space. We're all working in that same space. Pull through two. Now we have four loops on our hook. So we're going to grab our yarn and pull through all four loops. Now we're going to chain three. And we're going to skip the very next stitch right there beside where we worked and move into this next stitch. It's the third one on that row of uh, double crochets. And we're going to do another cluster stitch just like we've been doing. So go ahead and work your cluster all into the same space, or stitch I should say. We have four loops. We're going to pull through all four. We're going to chain three. Skip the very next stitch. And we're going to go in and work into this stitch right here, doing another double crochet cluster, just like I showed you at the beginning of the row. And we're going to go ahead and chain three after we complete that. We're going to skip the very next stitch and go into the very last double crochet that is in this section. And we're going to do our last double crochet cluster right into that stitch. And then we're going to be doing a chain five and clustering 
those six double crochets from the previous row together just like I showed you and we'll go over that one more time so we're going to be skipping over this section moving into these double crochets that are right here we're going to work into these and these and cluster all of those together so let's do that one more time together we're going to wrap our yarn around our hook we're going to go into this first stitch right into the top of it pull up a loop pull through two and we're going to hold it we've got two loops on our hook wrap your yarn insert into the very next stitch pull up a loop pull through two and hold it we've got three loops on our hook wrap your yarn insert right here into this third double crochet in the section pull up a loop grab your yarn pull through and now you have four loops on your hook now we're going to pull it kind of tight and we're going to skip over all this chain work right here and we're going to move over into these three double crochets on the other side and we're going to insert our hook pull up a loop and pull through two and we want to try to keep this kind of together as much as we can we don't want to be too loose when we're jumping and kind of bridging that gap so we're going to go ahead and wrap our yarn again move into the next stitch pull up a loop pull through two and hold it we now have six on our hook we're going to wrap our yarn again insert into this very last double crochet in this section and pull up a loop we're going to pull through two we now have seven loops on our hook so we're complete with this and we're going to grab our yarn turn your hook down facing where it's facing towards your project and pull through all seven loops on your hook now we're going to chain five two three four and five and we're going to continue on by doing the double crochet clusters, skipping and all that, and putting our chain three. So we're going to go ahead and do that again together so you can get the hang of it. So we're going to go into this very first stitch in this section of um, seven double crochets, and we're going to insert our hook, pull up a loop, pull through two, and hold it. Insert our hook, pull up a loop, pull through two, and hold it. Three loops on the hook. Insert our hook, pull up a loop pull through two we've got four on our hook we're going to pull through all four chain four skip the next double crochet right here and we're going to move into this one and do the same thing we're going to do our double crochet cluster right here into this stitch just like we've been doing on this row chain three skip the next stitch right here go into the following and do another double crochet cluster now we're going to pull through all loops and chain three and now we're going to be here at the end of this section and we're going to skip this next stitch and move directly into the very last double crochet in this section and we're going to do one more double crochet cluster now we're going to chain five and we're going to cluster those double crochets on the previous row together once you get past this you're going to continue to work in the same manner all the way down your row and you're going to stop right here at this end where you have the four double crochets together and we will do that part together so you know exactly how to end your row so if you want to go ahead and pause right here I'm going to go ahead and work my um, cluster together of these six double crochets but you can pause the video and come back when you've completed all the way down your row. And here we go. You're going to make sure that you're back. Hopefully you're back. Um, you're going to make sure that you chain five after you do this last set of clusters together. You're going to chain five, two, three, four, and five. And now we're here at this last section. And we're going to go ahead and do a double crochet cluster into this very first stitch right there. Let's go ahead and do your cluster. And we're going to chain three. And then we are going to skip this next double crochet right here and move immediately over here into this section. And we're going to do 
I'm sorry, into this stitch and, and this double crochet right here. It's going to be right here before the end of our row. We're going to do our last double crochet cluster. Just like so. And now we're just going to chain one. And this ending stitch is actually the chain three that began this row. So we're going to find the top of the chain three. And we're going to do a one double crochet into the top of the chain three. Just like that. So now this is what you have and this is basically your pattern repeat. I'm about to show you what row replaces these foundation ovals. You're only doing the foundation ovals at the very, very start of this project. From this next row up, this is going to be your pattern repeat. I'm going to show you how to do your new one, row one replacement that replaces these foundation ovals down here. And I'm going to show you how to do the row two start off. From that point forward, three, four, and five, those rows are exactly the same as we've gone over, and I will have down in the description where you can rewind to so that you can do those rows and watch them over and over if you need to. I know that I certainly had to refer to my crochet diagram repeatedly all throughout maybe the first four or five things that I made using this stitch pattern. It's a really pretty pattern, but it is there's a lot of counting and things to remember. So please do not be scared by it. You will get it. It's going to be much easier. And you have this video as reference. And I've also linked down in the description the Pinterest board that I created for this piece. And you can use the crochet diagram if you're familiar with those. And I'm also working on typing up instructions for this just to let you guys know. Because I know some people do need to read instructions versus visually learning. So I'm trying to accommodate everyone just like I did with the sizes to make this very easy for everyone because I really believe that anyone from beginner all the way to advanced can do this pattern. So now what we're going to do is this is your new row one that replaces the foundation ovals that we began with. We're here at the end of row five and we're going to start our new row one by chaining one and we're going to turn our work. Now we're going to do a single crochet right here into this stitch, the same one that we just came out of. We're going to be right here into this very first stitch on the row and we're going to do a single crochet, just like so. Now we're going to chain two and we're going to skip over this cluster stitch that we made and move right here into the chain three and do a single crochet. It's a very, very simple row, believe me. Now we're going to chain five. And now we're here where we clustered those six double crochets together. And we are going to do a double crochet right into the top of that. And if you pull your stitches apart, you can see that you have this perfect little center to work into. So that's where we're going to place our double crochet. So we're going to go ahead and insert in there and complete a double crochet. Now we're going to chain five again. And now we're going to skip over here and skip this first cluster stitch that we made and go immediately into the chain three and do a single crochet. Now we're going to chain two, skip right over here to the chain three and do a single crochet. We're going to chain two one more time. We're going to skip over here to the chain three and do a single crochet right into that chain. So that's what it begins to look like, exactly like that. Next, we're going to be doing our chain five again. Very, very simple. You'll remember this so quickly. And we're going to go over here. We're back at our cluster. We're going to pull that apart so that we can see that nice little loop that we want to work into that's directly in the center of the two clusters that we brought together. And we're going to do a double crochet. We're going to chain five. And we're going to come over here, skipping over all of this, and we're going to do a single crochet right here into this first chain three space. Now we're going to chain two, skip over this, go into this chain three with a single crochet, chain two, skip over this, go right into the chain three space with a single crochet, have that again, 
Now we're going to chain five. And we're going to go over here. We're back at our clusters. We're going to do a double crochet right into the top in that perfect little space that we created. And we're going to chain five. And we're going to come on over and continue to do the single crochet chain twos until you've worked down your entire row. You want to go ahead and pause the video here and finish working your row and meet back up with me when you're finished and we will finish off the very end together. So here we are at the end. We have our chain five and we're going to skip over this cluster that we created and go right here into this chain three space. It's the only one we have left. We're going to do a single crochet and we are going to chain two. Now we don't want to just go right here into this um, chain space right here. We want to count up and make sure that we go into the third chain. That's going to be our um, chain. Uh, that chain counts as our double crochet. I mean, this was a chain four that we began that previous row with. So we're going to go down here and count up two, three. And we're going to do a single crochet to end this row. So that is your new row one repeat for the entire rest of the pattern. It replaces the foundation ovals that we began with. So now we're going to start our new row two. It's just slightly different because instead of working in foundation ovals, we're going to be working into these chain spaces that we created. And we're going to do some single crochets, three of them in fact right around this. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that and then you will be all set. Row three, four, and five, like I said earlier, is exactly the same as in this tutorial. So we're going to go ahead and start our new row two by chaining three. And that chain three counts as our first double crochet. We're going to go ahead and turn our work. And we are going to do two double crochets into this chain two space that we created. So go ahead and do your two double crochets. Now we're going to chain five, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to come over here to where we did this double crochet in the center of that cluster. We are going to put a single crochet right here be beside it. We're going to do a second single crochet right into the top of that double crochet. And we're going to do one more single crochet right beside it. That's our three single crochets that we needed when we started. So we're going to go ahead and chain five again. Three, four, and five. And we're going to move over here into these chain two spaces that we created right on top of those clusters. So we're going to skip this first single crochet right here and we're going to do two double crochets into that first chain two space. And now we're going to do our third double crochet right here into that this single crochet. So let's do a third double crochet right there. And we're going to do two more double crochets into this chain space that we created on the previous row. And that gives us our five double crochets. So if you remember how you started row two, at the beginning you had three single crochets, chain five, five double crochets, chain five, three single crochets. So we we're replicating that by working it in this manner. So I'm going to do this a few more times with you. Chain five. And now we're going to skip over all of this and come over here to where we have that double crochet. And we're going to do a single crochet right beside it. And we're going to do a single crochet in the top of the double crochet. And we're going to do a single crochet right beside it. So that's our three single crochets in a row that we need. Now we're going to chain five. And we're going to go ahead and move on over here, skipping over all of this, getting over this one single crochet, skipping that and going directly into that chain two space we created, doing two double crochets. We're going to do our third double crochet right there in that single crochet. And we're going to finish out with two double crochets in the next chain two space that we have created. 
Now you're going to be able to chain five. And you're going to do your three single crochets right here. We're going to put our first one right in front of that double crochet, just right there on that chain. Then we're going to do our second single crochet in the top of the double crochet. And our third is going to be right there beside it. And then we're going to chain five and continue on down the road just as you have been. You want to pause the video here until you catch up to the end with me. So please go ahead and pause the video and we'll meet right here at the end and do the final chain two space and ending of this row together. All right, assuming you guys are back and ready to go, we're going to do a double crochet right there in that chain two space. So we skip this single crochet and we're moving right here into this chain two space that we created. There's only one here at the end. So we got our first double crochet. We're going to do a second double crochet. And then we're going to do our third and final double crochet right here in this single crochet that is at the end of this row. So we're going to do our last double crochet right there. So this is what our work looks like so far. I hope you found this tutorial very helpful. I'm going to do part two, which is going to be, this is our back panel that we've worked on on our cardigan. Part two is going to show you how we take this piece and we add front panels right here using these same foundation ovals. We're going to add our front panels right here. And I will go over the counts and everything in that video, how many of these ovals you need which for a few of the sizes is going to be five ovals. For a few more, it, for a few sizes up, it's going to be seven ovals, but we'll go over that in the other video. Down in the description, I will have where you can rewind back so that you can do rows three, four, and five over and over and replay those if needed. If you did like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you guys for watching.